Chatbots. Every stream needs one. They not only help keep chat engaged, getting you more chatters, but they also keep the chat safe with tools to stop spammers, bots, and of course the classic, wanna be famous? Today, we're gonna run through adding Stream Elements Chatbot to your Twitch or YouTube stream. That means setting up moderation so you can protect your chat, getting all the classic commands like exclamation mark socials to help people go to other platforms for you, and of course, adding cool commands like this one that lets users see how smart they are out of 100%. When I added this to my chat, my chat activity boomed and it wasn't that spammy activity either. Don't worry. It was people who were engaged and having fun. Oh, and of course, we'll get you a custom bot name so that your bot doesn't just say stream elements, but says something cool like Royal Botler. There are time codes in the top comment and the description of this video, so you can skip ahead to whatever part of this video you want and make sure it's applicable to you. But first, we have to say thank you to our sponsor, Own.TV. Look, if you're setting up bots today, then you're probably a new streamer, which means you might not know about Own.TV. They are the one-stop shop for all things streaming related. If you need overlays, they got it. Sub badges, they got it. Alerts, they gosh darn got it. Every overlay they have is fully customizable, meaning you can pick and choose which parts you want to use. And because they're modular, you'll never have the same overlay as anyone else. They have overlays for both Twitch and YouTube, as well as animated and static overlays of all designs, so you can find the perfect overlay to fit your needs. If you want to support me, check out Owned with the link in the description. These guides are funded by sponsors and ads, so we really appreciate the support they give us. First, let's get straight into setting up the bot. Head to StreamElements.com and log in. You're either going to link your Twitch channel or your YouTube channel. It's up to you which. It doesn't change the tutorial by much. Once you're logged in with your Twitch or YouTube, you'll either head to your Twitch channel and type slash mod stream elements, then hit enter. Or if you're on YouTube, you'll need to go to your YouTube dashboard, settings, add as moderator, and you'll want to be careful here, but you'll add stream elements as a moderator. I will be honest, stream elements on YouTube is a bit laggy and quite frustrating, but it works eventually and it's only getting better day by day. If you're worried about setting stream elements up as a moderator on YouTube though, I will also link their guide down below because they give you a direct link on how to do it, which is really helpful. Now, if you go to your stream elements dashboard, you'll see two buttons. If you've got everything connected, it will say part channel and mute. If you don't, you'll click join channel and you won't hit the mute button because that's just for pausing the bot in your channel, which sometimes is helpful, but for now we don't need that. But with all of that done, you are now connected. Now straight away, let's get some moderation set up because you can't expect mods to be there all the time, especially when you're starting out, you probably don't have people you can trust as mods yet. So first, let's head down to the spam filters on the left and you'll be met with six options. They're pretty self-explanatory, but essentially caps protection is to stop people spamming in all caps, link protection so people can't post links to the worst things on the internet, such as porn, self-promo or NFTs, emote protection in case someone is spamming 300 emotes at once, paragraph protection so people don't post the entire B-movie script, symbol protection so you don't end up like Gref G who is hosting an award show to 1.7 million live viewers, where they were spamming among us with giant penises. And finally, banned words. So things like slurs, the worst swear words, or just the word moist and maybe kumquat don't get posted in your chat either. If you open any of these, you'll get options to customize them. They'll all have three specific settings in common that I need to cover for you. Timeout duration, exclude user group, and custom message. Timeout duration is how long the viewers can't type after they break the protection rule. Exclude user group is if you want certain users to be able to break the protection rules without getting timed out. So maybe you want mods to be able to post links for you. And custom message is what the bot says to the person who breaks the rule, such as, hey punk, stop posting links, you jabroni. Now advanced settings on each get a bit more custom. For example, on caps protection, it says maximum amount, minimum characters, and maximum percent. The way these work is to help determine who gets timed out. Minimum characters is how many characters are needed before the bot will even check the message. So mine is set to 10, meaning if someone wrote all caps, yes, it won't even check that. It won't catch that. But if they wrote yes, all caps with eight E's, then it would catch that. But if they wrote yes with eight E's, but only a capital Y, it wouldn't time them out for that because only one capital. This is where maximum percent comes in. I set mine to 30%. So if someone wrote years with eight E's, that's 10 characters. If three or more of those E's were capitals, they'd get timed out. And finally, maximum amount is the total number overall. So even if it was less than 30%, if the message has more than 20 capitals in this case, they'll be timed out. You'll see these three options through almost all of these rules, such as on symbol protection or emote protection. And they all work very similarly. But with this, you will want to play around and find what works for you. I really recommend starting a bit looser and only increasing protection as you need. You don't want your chat to feel like it's aggressively locked down by bots. 
And our final part of moderation before we get onto the fun parts is link protection. It's pretty straightforward. Allow list is a list of trusted links you want people to be able to post, such as maybe your Twitch clips. And then the block list are links that are worse than any old link, and those need a harsher or longer timeout. An example of a harsher link is like if someone sent you the link to download League of Legends, they should get banned forever. Whereas if someone sends you a link to just check out a YouTube video, maybe that's just a 30 second timeout. Okay, let's start adding commands like the cool ones that I showed you earlier. But first, I have to show you how the basic default command settings work or else you'll be lost. So head back to your dashboard and head to chat commands. You'll see a whole list of default commands. For this, I'm gonna cover the follow age command, but most of them run really similarly. So scroll down, find follow age, click it, and you'll see these options. Now you have command name. This is pretty obvious. This is what you type into chat to trigger the command. So exclamation mark, follow age. Command cost connects to loyalty points, which we will set up later for you, don't worry. But essentially the more time viewers are in chat, the more points they get. And then you can set some of these commands to cost those points, incentivizing them to keep coming back and staying in stream. Next is user level. This allows you to limit who can use the command. Obviously, everyone is everyone. Subscriber is paying subscribers. Moderator is moderators. And broadcaster is yourself. User cooldown and global cooldown are pretty straightforward as well. This is how long between uses the command has. For example, if I set user to 15 seconds, then when a user does the exclamation mark follow age command, that user can't then do it again for another 15 seconds. Global is a bit different, obviously, it's everyone. Mine is set to five seconds, so if someone wants to use follow age, well then nobody else can use follow age for five seconds as well. We're almost there, but there are a few more settings you need to understand. First, down here you can change if the commands are usable while the stream is online, offline, or both. And then you've got command aliases. These are other words you can use to trigger the same command. So follow age is set to also exclamation mark how long as well. All right, boys and girls and everyone in between, you now understand every command setting. Now you can go through and turn on or off all the default commands you want. To be entirely honest, I have most of these turned off, but I recommend things like follow age, uptime, watch time, and my personal favorite, exclamation mark eight ball, where you can type exclamation mark eight ball and a question, and then the bot will spit back an answer to the viewer. You can also set up custom replies, which always goes hilarious. Wait a minute, why didn't it work? Well, that's because you'll first need to turn on some of these modules before any of these default commands will work. I'll show you that in a second, but really quickly, I have to show you timers because they're so powerful and they're connected to commands. If you click timers on the left below chat commands and click add new timer, you can essentially tell the bot to post a message on repeat every 30 minutes, hour, or whatever you choose. For me, I set my timer to be called follow bot with the response message, having fun, follow the channel if you're really enjoying the stream, it's free and helps us out. Then I set the interval to every 30 minutes and made sure it wouldn't post if at least 10 other chat messages hadn't been set. If you don't set a minimum, then your chat ends up just being the bot on repeat telling people to follow the channel, which is really sad. Okay, let's do the modules for eight ball and loyalty points, and then we can set up the custom commands and custom bot name like you've all been waiting for. If you click modules, you can turn on, for example, the eight ball module as we talked about. And this is where you can actually edit the responses that the eight ball command will spit back. Now, if someone types exclamation mark eight ball and a question, the bot will say back one of the custom responses written in the eight ball module settings. Before, as I said, it wouldn't work, but now it does. Now, any command that's connected to a module will need to be turned on here as a module first, such as exclamation mark raffle and exclamation mark slots. But also a lot of these modules need loyalty settings to be set up, which is what we will do now. So click loyalty, click loyalty settings. Here you can name the loyalty currency. Mine are called Royal Gems because that fits my content and my audience. Below, you can change how many points viewers get for watching. You can let subs get more than normal viewers with a subscriber multiplier and set up bonuses for when viewers complete actions such as following, which gets you 250 points per follow for me or cheering bits, for example. It is important to note it's per 100 bits. So with mine set to 500 points, if someone cheers 200 bits, they'd actually get a thousand points in total. Below that is the ignore list. This is where I put all of my bots and myself so they don't get points or appear on my points leaderboard, which you can find above in your loyalty settings. Once you've set up this page, then you head back to your modules and you can turn on the raffles, the jewels, the roulettes, and the slot modules. Now, just take your time setting these up or just leave them as default once you've turned on. They're all quite straightforward, so just read through them slowly and make sure the commands are also turned on like we did with the eight ball. One thing I will warn you about before we move on to the custom commands is chat alerts. I personally think you should turn these off overall. Essentially, if this is on, when someone follows, donates, subscribes, etc., then a chat message will be posted by the bot in your chat. 
Lots of trolls and scammers try to mimic these messages to trick streamers. So instead, just turn off chat alerts and don't even give them the chance to confuse you. All right, let's set up custom commands now. These are a really fun way to kick things into gear. Head to chat commands and click custom commands. I have far too many commands, please don't judge me. So I'm gonna show you how to set up shout out, promote a social media, a game command, and then I'll show you three commands that I found not only to boost my chat engagement, but they also got me a lot of new chatters and most importantly, saved me when I was in some really bad situations. Like when I got raided by Nazis. And no, that's not a joke, literal Nazis. First up, let's add a new command. This will open up a settings tab that will look really familiar, but it has this extra little part called template. If you click this, you can scroll through and pick from any of these already set up commands. Stream Elements has made these for you and they're really quick to add. For this example, let's click shout out. Now this populates the shout out command for you and all you have to do is click save. Now, if someone raids you, then you or a mod can type exclamation mark shout out and the raider's name and the bot will tag them and say what game they were playing last. And if you click advanced, you'll see all the same settings I taught you earlier as well. Now, if you do the exact same thing with the templates, you can set up an exclamation mark game command that tells the chatters what game you're playing or really any number of other commands like exclamation mark followers, subs, or the command that sparked my favorite command, exclamation mark love. If you set this command up and someone uses it, it will generate a random number between 1% and 100% in chat and say the user and you are that much in love. It does this with custom code that you can see in the response box right now. What I did was use this command as my base and then rewrite it slightly. I swapped love for IQ and I rewrote the response to say, dollar sign to user has an IQ of dollar sign random 1.69% and then added an emote code. Now, if a user typed exclamation mark IQ, the bot would say how smart they were between one and 69%. Now you could even type exclamation mark IQ and then at a certain username and the bot would say what that username's IQ was. Viewers loved this and it became a constant meme in my chat of people checking each other's IQ. So get creative. I had other commands that would say if someone was based, if someone was attractive or a gunfight game where they both rolled a number and the higher number would win shooting the other user. Okay, next is the what up command. This is a really simple command. Exclamation mark what up and it will tell the user what you're doing that stream. Now you do have to rewrite this command every stream so it's up to date, but I found that adding exclamation mark what up to your title, pin message or a timer would always tempt new viewers into typing it. And when they did, the bot would tell them what the stream's about and it would give me a chance to say, hey, booty man 69 with two eyes, what up to you two? It's simple, but incredibly effective at engaging your chatters, okay? Now, there is one command that has saved me hundreds of times as a streamer. I wanna show you that, but quickly, I should show you how to write a command without the template. Click add new command like we did earlier and type, for example, Twitter. And then you can write dollar sign to user, check out LJ's Twitter, and then paste the link to your Twitter. Set your cooldown in advanced settings and hit activate command. Congratulations, you now know how to create a custom command. It's very simple. And with that knowledge, I need you to make an exclamation mark vibes command. This is a command with a 15 second user cooldown, but zero second global cooldown. So your entire chat can use it together pretty much on repeat. You'll fill the response with all of your positive emotes. For me, it was my LJ hype and LJ love emotes. Now, when a troll or trolls or group of slur spamming Nazis comes into your chat posting slurs or hate messages written so carefully with numbers and symbols that your bots and stuff don't pick them up because they're barely words anymore, and you're trying to manage that and panicking, all you have to do is ask your community to spam exclamation mark vibes. Congratulations, the hate is gone, replaced by your chat's powerful good vibes. This also helps say thank you to the people who subscribe, give subs or cheer, or just generally good chatters. Maybe someone drops five gift subs and you ask your chat to type exclamation mark vibes. It is one of the most powerful commands I've ever had. Whoa, whoa, whoa. LJ, how does the bot use the emotes? It's not a paying subscriber. Well, it's actually a really simple answer. You just gift the bot a sub each month so it can use emotes. Or set the emotes in the response as BTTV emotes, as those are free. Which if you don't know what BTTV is, then check the description for my video on that after this if you want hundreds of free emote slots and to stop being out of touch with Twitch. Okay, finally, it is time to set up your bot with a custom name. To do this, you do need to install the Stream Elements OBS plugin. So head to Stream Elements dashboard and click on this little button here, then click download se.live and follow its very basic setup. Make sure OBS is closed when you do this, by the way. So many people leave OBS open, just just please close OBS. Now, it's really important to say that some people really hate this plugin. 
Now, while it doesn't do anything evil, it does change some background folders, move things around and change how the data works. Again, not maliciously, it just makes it really hard to troubleshoot OBS when it breaks. So people like myself will often ask, hey, can you send us a user log? And it's just busted to no end because the Stream Elements plugin got to it. That said, I installed this into OBS and I've never had issues with it, but I have to add this warning because I am nothing if not thorough. Once it is installed, open OBS and log into your main Twitch channel over here. I want you to then go to Twitch in a browser, make a new Twitch account, make the name of this account whatever you want your custom bot name to be. For example, BootyBot69 or Royal Bottler, like I made mine. It doesn't actually have to be these two, just try to make it fun, clever and connected to who you are as a creator and your content. Make sure the account is secure with two-factor authentication and then go back to your main Twitch account and make the new account a moderator in your chat. Once all of this is done, head back to your OBS, go to your Stream Elements event queue over here on the left, which if you can't see, go to your docs and then turn it on in the docs section. Click this hamburger in your Stream Elements event queue, click custom bot name and log in with the new Twitch account you made for the bot. Now, whenever OBS and the Stream Elements plugin is open and someone uses a command, it will use your custom bot account instead. If OBS isn't open and they use a command or the Stream Elements plugin isn't active, it'll just use the normal Stream Elements bot. That's kind of how they force you to use the plugin by making it connected to the custom bot name. But with that, you have everything you need to set up your bot and stream safely. If you want to add a snazzy, free, fully animated overlay to go along with that, then click this video right here. We spent thousands of dollars making these overlays and then release them entirely for free. See you next week.